Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm going to be looking at upgrading my Nvidia Shield from the crazy build of 9.0, which caused all those issues and problems you guys had. Problems with connecting to storage, and issues with video playback, and not forgetting those huge issues with Plex. Now I've had a notification on my Nvidia Shield to upgrade to 9.01 for about a week, and I've purposely held off upgrading just to make sure it didn't make it worse. And in today's video, I'm going to do just that and upgrade my Nvidia Shield to the new version of 9.01. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride, so you're going to see with me if I encounter any issues or problems. And this may help you avoid the pitfalls when you come to upgrade. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay now, when you first log into the Nvidia Shield, you should see a notification telling you to upgrade to 9.01. Now if you don't see it on your home screen like this, you might see it in your notification bar. Now if all fails and you don't see any of these notifications, you can manually look for an upgrade and install it. Just click on the settings cog and scroll down to device preferences and then click on about and then click on system upgrade. And finally click on check for upgrade and then it will begin checking for an upgrade. And then you should eventually see the upgrade message for 9.01. And let's click on what's new. So what's in 9.01? So this is a patch release to Shield Experience 9.0 and it resolves issues in the previous release including resolves Plex Media server issues, which I know a lot of you guys are shouting on about. And this is a big one, fixes storage permissions on media player, file browser and emulator apps. A whole shed load of people were complaining about that one. And lastly, fixes stutter when playing interlaced content. Okay, so what's new in 9? Well, the main thing is we get Android 11 on our Shield TV. So we get new privacy features and a new default keyboard with a built-in text-to-speech capability. And of course, as always, we get new or upgraded apps. And this time round, that includes Apple TV, where we get the ability to play in 4K Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. And they've added Dolby Vision support to Google Play Movies and TV. And we get a new Asian movie TV app. And excitedly, we get some new games including Apex Legends, Emergence, Far Cry 6, Life is Strange, Two Colors, and my favorite, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. And other enhancements include the Android security patch level September 21. We get support for APTX compatible Bluetooth headsets. We get the option to automatically disconnect Bluetooth devices on sleep. We also get the option to match content audio resolution. And one of my favorites, we get the new added keyboard keyboard option. And interestingly, we get the new energy saver setting for additional power customization. And we get Stadia button support for Xbox, PlayStation and Shield controllers. And we get additional bug fixing. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and download and install this now. So it looks like it's just over 70 megabytes for this update, which actually doesn't seem like a lot. So let's just hope it fixes all those issues. Okay now guys, I'm going to speed this up for your convenience. I'll let you know how long it takes at the bottom here. Now once the patch is downloaded, it checks the integrity of the file and we get a message preparing to install. And now it's processing the update and I think it's just restarted. Okay, so now this next bit actually took quite a long time. This is the actual upgrade. It took around 10 minutes on my Shield TV Pro, which is the latest version. Which is quite surprising considering the size of the file which was downloaded. Okay, so once this configuration is done, it restarts the NVIDIA Shield. And after the install, we come back to what's new in the upgrade. And in the background, it's just finishing off. So that is the upgrade done. Now to check it's completed successfully, we can go into our settings, scroll down to device preferences, click on about, scroll all the way down to software version, and you can see here I'm on 9.01. So now that I've got this update installed, I want to check out if some of these fixes work. And the first thing I'm going to check is if storage permissions are fixed. Now I've got a USB stick connected to my Nvidia Shield, so if we're going to settings and device preferences and then scroll down to storage, you can see I've got my USB stick connected with 15 gigabytes of storage and internal storage of 12 gigabytes. So that all does seem to be working. Let me know how you get on guys in the comments below. So let's just quickly jump into Plex. Now currently I've only got the client installed at the moment, but that is all working pretty good. No issues with playback stuttering, but if any of you guys have used the Plex server on the Nvidia Shield, please do let me know in the comments below how it went. So at first glance guys, it looks like they've fixed most of the issues people had at the first install. Let me know in the comments below if you've come across any issues since the latest update. 
Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give us a like and maybe consider subscribing as I'm always producing videos like this. And I'll see you all in the next one.